SKN Newsline Director Andrea Huey is among four professional journalists from around the world selected to participate in a journalism fellowship in Japan from October 20th to the 31st. Four senior journalists from the Caribbean and Pacific and two students from Tokyo area universities have been selected as APEC Japan Journalism Fellows for 2019. The Association for Promotion of International Cooperation, APEC, a Tokyo-based private foundation that nurtures relations between Japan and nations of Oceania and the Caribbean, sponsors the annual Journalism Fellowship Program, which is now in its fifth year. Speaking from Tokyo, Japan, Mr. Huey said he was thrilled to be part of this year's fellowship. I'm very pleased to have this opportunity. Um, I applied to the program early in the year. Um, I was made aware of it by the, the Japanese embassy. I expressed an interest in it. I applied and um, shortly after applying, I got a letter response from the coordinator of the program that I've been um, selected. I am very pleased, very humbled. I feel very privileged to have this opportunity and I'm certainly going to look forward to it. He said the fellowship is expected to be intense as it begins its first week. Um, already we have been informed um, that the program is going to be very intense. We're going to expect it to file stories every day um, on our trips. We're going to be visiting different parts of Japan. Currently right now I'm in Tokyo. Um, yesterday we had the opportunity of visiting the Sensoji, Sensoji uh, Temple, um, one of the tourist attractions here in Tokyo. And so it's a familiarization tour as well. We get an opportunity to experience um, all that Tokyo has to offer as best as possible. Um, as a tourist, but also as a journalist. And so I'm really looking forward to what this uh, trip has to, to hold. Um, definitely, we are going to be learning a lot. We're going to be having the opportunity to interact with different departments and agencies here in Japan. Um, as you know, Japan, um, though it's a very big country compared to the Caribbean, um, it is an island and that is faced with a lot of the uh, sustainable development challenges and even disaster management um, issues that we face within the Caribbean. Just last week, a typhoon hit um, parts of Japan and um, quite a few people died and some people were even re reported missing as a result and so some of the disaster issues that uh, are faced in Japan we have similar issues in the Caribbean in Sinkis Nevis. So um, I intend to learn a lot, we're going to learn a lot, um, we're going to be having a lot of similarities between what happens in Japan and, and in the Caribbean and so there are a lot of best practices we can learn from Japan. Mr. Hughes is one of two Caribbean journalists on the program. The other being Christopher Sergio from the Jamaica Gleaner. The other two professional fellows are from the Pacific. Peter Sato, president of Apex, said this year's cohort is the most senior group in the last five years to be on the fellowship. The Apex Japan Journalism Fellowship is unique among such programs in that it also requires participants to write daily stories and then share them with other fellows as a learning experience. The fellowship project coordinator is Floyd K. Takeuchi, a veteran American journalist and media executive who has more than 40 years of experience working in Hawaii, the Pacific Islands, and Japan. He is assisted by assistant project coordinator Dawn Matos, an American with more than 30 years of journalism experience in Japan, and assistant project coordinator Jeff Johnson long-time editor of the Marshall Islands Journal in the Republic of the Marshall Islands, who has more than 30 years of news experience in the Pacific. This is the third journalism expedition that SK Newsline has been chosen to participate in, having been already invited earlier this year to Caracas, Venezuela, by Banco de Carib and the Panam Games in Peru this past summer by the Sinkis and Nevis Olympic Committee. This obviously continues to boost the profile of SK Newsline as a premier news media organization in Sinkis and Nevis. Glenn Bart for SKN Newsline.